Hello, it's uh, October the 12th. It's about uh, 12.30. I just went to Christ the Church Cathedral here for Mass, but unfortunately I had to leave early. The RCMP clones completely sodomized the Bible. Um, I'll tell you quickly what happened. By the way, the New International Version Bible is run by, is made by the Illuminati. It's to twist the original word of the Bible. The only Bible that we should be looking at is the King James Version, which was made 700 years ago. It's the authentic version. In this, uh, in this sermon, unfortunately, they forced the minister, which is really sad, they forced the minister to say that Jesus chooses which one of us gets into heaven and which one of us doesn't. And it has nothing to do with us. It's whether Jesus chooses us. So um, they missed, they turned, the, they twisted the words of the Bible around to say, if you, everyone is invited into heaven, but few are chosen. Uh, I'm tired of the Illuminati pulling this bullshit on us, and that's one of the reasons why they want me dead, is I'm telling you the truth. Every single one of us is invited into heaven, and every single one of us could get in if we so choose. It's our choice. Jesus is so full of, lo full of love, he will accept all of us. It's our choice. The New International Version twists it to make us feel guilty, to make us less uh, feeling of being accepted, to make us constantly feel that we are less than the divinity that is within us through God. Um, I argued with the point. The, the minister was forced to open up the discussion with people, and it was full of clones who were completely misinterpreting the Bible and completely twisting it to Illuminati speech and say that we have to have Jesus cloak us in his righteousness to get into the into heaven. There's no possible way we can be righteous, as righteous as Jesus. It's just impossible. Only Jesus and God can be righteous. We are allowed into heaven because our sins are cleansed and because Jesus has conquered death. That is what gets us in. It has nothing to do with Jesus protecting us or covering up our sins. The, the minister was forced to say that Jesus would ignore our sins or pretend they didn't exist by covering them up or cloaking them. That's not at all what happens. We must be 100% pure to be around God and be in heaven all the time. That's why if you make the choice to get into heaven, if you accept Jesus and you accept that his death allows you to overcome death yourself, being in heaven like Jesus told me himself, he said to me, you are in the kingdom of God, you will never leave. Once you make the choice to enter into heaven, you are accepted and your soul is pure all the time. There is no need to cover things up or hide things. That's what the Illuminati do. They hide, they deceive, they lie. That's them. So I sat there and thought, do I have to sit here and listen to this bullshit? And I knew the minister was forced to do this. And I realized, well, I'd like to have the Eucharist, but I don't need to have it today because I could go to a Roman Catholic church tomorrow or tonight. But I refuse to sit there and have this RCMP clone scum bastardize and sodomize the Bible to make them feel better. They are scum. They are less than me. They will never get into heaven. They are scum. They murdered 100,000 women and made 35 million Canadians homeless. I will not sit and allow cunts, which is what the RCMP are, pardon my French, but every once in a while, some words are deserved. The RCMP that exists now are clone cunts. They deserve no respect. They need to be imprisoned and their guns taken away. They're violent. My friends, I emphasize, Every single person will get into heaven if you so choose. There is no judgment day when you die. It occurs when alive. We choose the date and we choose the judgment. It's not God. God offers heaven to everyone. It's up to us. Remember, he gives us free will. It's our decision. It's us. Do not read the New International Version of the Bible. It is run by the Illuminati. Only read the King James Version. It is the only authentic version. Have a good day.